Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you guys how to do the throttle range setting for the ESC when you use it for the first time or you change the transmitter. Different transmitters with uh, different throttle ranges. So when you use the ESC for the first time or change the new transmitter, you should calibrate the throttle range before flying. And later I will show you uh, the first time when you use the ESC or you change the transmitter so you should connect the ESC with, with the receiver, with the uh, transmitter and you should do the fire range setting and then the second is when you delete that already and the second time you use it or later you use it you should do the normal start procedure of the ESC um, first of all, here we got many scattered ESC here, which is a serious ESC by Tomcat, uh, which is applied for the RC appearance and uh, helicopters. And here we got uh, parameters of different uh, amps. Uh, the lowest uh, amp is uh, scattered 6 amp which is uh, with continuous cannon of 6 amp then the max is uh, 120 amps and start from scattered 40 amp ESC the, the, there is uh, the switch mode UBEC inside and the BC mode is a switch and uh, below the 40 amp below the 40, oh, no 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 is uh, 40 amp ESC with UBEC, built-in UBC inside the Skyload ESC and below Skyload 40 amp there is uh, no built-in UBEC and the BC mode is the liner. So if you have any and just uh, you want to know more about the ESC you can check the, the diamond off your side and uh, Check the eBay, Amazon, and the local dealers to get it. And uh, here I will take. Uh, let's take this. This one. This is more new. Thirty-eight. It is a uh, scale thirty-eight. And yeah. Uh, you can. And find this also fine on this uh, 120 amp ESC. And we take this receiver is uh, the Tom MSR double six A receiver with uh, gyro spacing stabilization built in inside. And the motor is uh, our Tomcat G10. Here we got the battery, and here we got the. Please DT9 transmitter. Okay, we'll start to show you how to do this. Uh, first of all, let's connect the ESC with motor. Have three colors and each color connect with the same color wire. And con connect the ESC wire we connect the receiver find the throttle and here okay later on I will connect the ESC with battery to power it on and I I should cause uh, later on the the beep the motor if you have make some voice beep 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 like that. Uh, I will tell you how to do the throttle range setting. First of all, we need to turn on the transmitter and put the stick to top, and then we connect the battery on. And then we will get a beep beep, and then we turn turn down the stick to the bottom position, and then we'll have a beep beep. 
it is to present the numbers of battery cells and then it will fit at the last time in the ending it means the lowest position of the throttle range have, has been confirmed so we have uh, two steps that we wish you to two on the stick I will show you now let's turn on the transmitter okay and let's put the stick to the top and then this time meanwhile we connect the battery with receiver with ESC da 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 it means the it means di, 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 di. okay see okay the, the first bit it means uh, to show you the top position of the throttle range has been confirmed and then I turn down the stick they will have several beeps and will, that means the present the number of battery cells and the last time a bit to confirm the lowest position of the throttle range so after this and then you can you can check the motor the top. okay so the throttle range setting is down so we we disconnect the battery and then we turn off the transmitter now we'll do the normal start procedure the normal start procedure is uh, more simple simple easier just uh, you we need to switch turn on the transmitter we'll stick to the bottom and then we connect the battery da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da. oh so we can use it start to use the start to fly When you connect the battery and turn first, the first day is turn on the transmitter and then connect the battery back to the ESC, and then we'll have a tongue. Da 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 means the power supply is okay, and then they will have a beep beep, and it, that means the to the number of uh, the battery battery cells show you the battery cells, and then uh, last time they have a beep time will be ended and then that means you can fly now so if you turn on the transmitter and we connect to with the it also have this sound da, 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 battery cells da, confirm yeah it's like this okay so that's the setting of a throw range setting and the normal step procedure of the ESC when you use the ESC for the first time and uh, use the uh, different transmitter connect with the ESC okay uh, so that's it bye